What the hell was the Death Star a JPEG? Anyway, uh, this is, uh, probably the level that I said, said was going to be the most repetitive. Uh, you'll definitely see why, but right now we are in the, um, I don't know what you call these places, the, uh, tree houses of the, these places kind of, these places kind of look like tree houses, but we are, uh, among the tribe of Ewoks. Ewoks being these tiny little teddy bear thing things that live in the trees kind of like the Wookiees on Kashyyyk, on Kashyyyk but uh I think the funniest thing that me and my uh me and my brother came up with when it came to the teddy bears is that when, when you get to see them in like in action uh, they basically just kind of maul all the stormtroopers they come across in the movie so my brother and I just basically described them as man-eating teddy bears I mean, they are, kind of. How does that sink into the ground when we're on a... I shouldn't question it. <clears throat> yeah, this, this, uh... This level has a lot of stuff that you're going to be doing in free play, which means I'm going to have to be spending a lot of... Inter I'm going to spend a very interesting time uh, doing stuff here. I think I probably could have got... I think in my, in my previous recording, I actually got uh, True Jedi right up to here because I got a score 4 uh, off screen. So, I'm definitely going to be showing that off once, uh, once I get it. Okay. I don't know what, that's, don't know what that was all about. This little uh, Ewok that we're actually playing as right now, his name is Wicket. That's a very strange name to give an Ewok. It's also really fun to say. Wicket. I'm easily entertained. Oh, whatever. I don't think I'm going to be grabbing many of the mini kits uh, in this level because there's a lot of them that require free play. Is that, is that, is this control panel just floating? There's like nothing, there's nothing behind it holding it up, so I think it's just floating. Uh, Wicket, um, uses a slingshot, which means he does not have a grapple. Though. But one thing that I found kind of weird about the Ewoks in this game is that when you try to put their weapon away, you can't. But the weird thing is, 
it makes the the putting away sound and I find that super weird even the other Ewoks are trying to do it but they can't so they just keep making that clacks that clacking sound I was originally um, gonna be recording this episode with a friend of mine, but due to some uh, events that I can't really talk about right now, um, we, uh, we I had to end up scrapping that footage. And it was really good too. I, I one of the things I don't I don't like doing is having to get rid of footage that I think is really good. I find that so annoying when I have to, when I end up having to scrap footage, and I I, I get really disappointed because I want to show you guys um, what it feels like when I uh, record these for the first time and what our original thoughts are. Needed the stud count. Wicked is definitely going to be useful because he can go through these small gaps. Much like how young Anakin did in the, uh, in some of the previous levels back in, uh, Phantom Menace. Also, I find it weird. Young Anakin is not short. Like he's not sh like his 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 uh, character is not short in this game. Yet he can go through tiny um those tiny holes. So I find that kind of strange. I don't know why those guys are just standing there. There's also gonna be times where I have to like walk around while well, while I have to move around while I'm shooting because sometimes uh, Han will just instantly just shoot whatever's behind him sometimes and I find it kind of annoying because I don't want to hit those things. I do promise that I am going to get some of my friends to join me for some of the later episodes. I know for the for the next episode, I am getting I'm gonna get some get some friends over to uh, for the the boss that's eventually gonna be coming up next episode. What? No. On. On, please. Use the grapple thing, please. On, my dude. Why 
one moment. Instantly dead. Not sure how to get up there. Oh wait, I think I know. Yep, out of feeling. Also, Wicket only has like two like sound effects that he makes. Yeah, you're hearing it right now. He goes like, whatever that, whatever those sounds are. I don't like this part. I found this part annoying. Like, the long- basically it does like this thing where it's like the longer you take, the more the stormtroopers are gonna spawn. And I found that super annoying. So my best suggestion is just to clear out all the stormtroopers before doing literally anything else. So I think by opening up that gate, uh, made the stormtroopers go away. At least I'm fairly certain. No, they're still coming. I need to solve the puzzle before doing anything. I am grind I can grind so many studs just from this one bit. Stop falling in your face, please. So now that we finally got this puzzle out of the are you serious? Get out of here! Damn, these stormtroopers won't go away. They went away last time. So basically, we're gonna do after building this tractor, which hilariously, uh, 
when I test recorded this with one of my friends, you referred to it as a tracker. A tracker. <laughs> It's like the it's like British British tractor tracker. Uh, I still wish I was able to use that old footage. It's a shame that I can't that I couldn't use it. I won't this I won't talk about why. Let's just I'll just say that it's uh, just very a lot of personal stuff going on. You can basically use it to grow those carrots, but they don't really give anything else but studs, so... A lot of this level is basically going to be revolving around using free play. So yeah. So then, so with this part is kind of strange, you gotta get into these little, like, pod things, like, chuck these rocks at this wall. And you can actually destroy them with your, uh, exploding blaster bolts, funny enough. Terry's dead. Big ol' war zone out here.
this area, this level just kind of goes on a little long, and I kind of wish it didn't. And this was there the whole time, great. I never actually noticed that after a while the stormtroopers just stopped spawning. We gotta get ourselves inside the shield generator. The shield bunker, rather. Fuck's sake, guys. Ugh, my pl player's AI is so dumb. Thank you, Chewie. I remember uh, replaying The Force Unleashed 2 recently and seeing uh, this and seeing this level um, and seeing uh, how Endor was in one of the DLC levels in that game reminded me of uh, this game. <laughs> Finally! We made it to the shield generator. No. this place up. Only been here a few seconds and I'm already wrecking this place. So basically what we're going to be doing in this level is uh, 
finding a whole bunch of levers to uh, unlock the final room of the uh, shield generator so we can place the explosives and blow this place up. This, this, this area takes a little takes a little while, which means you're probably not going to hear me talk a whole bunch. So, yeah. to get really like just in the in the mood whenever I'm playing uh, I can I tend to get like in the zone whenever I'm playing this game this game I'm kind of I kind of just go into silent red mode and just you know just kind of just chill playing I'm sure a lot of you guys have had that I've always missed that jump like whenever I did that I did that like Part where you have to hover over the gap. I always mess it up when I was young, when I was little. Back when I played Lego Star Wars 2. That's how that, that goes to show how tough these the exploding blaster bolts are. I am still working on trying to uh, get through with finishing some of my other playthroughs as well. Like I still. I still need to finish Bendy and the Dark Revival. That's one we I want to do, and I haven't really. I don't want to really try to play this game, play that game by myself because I actually want to play it with the others. But of course, I gotta make sure. I gotta remind myself that that I can't. That sometimes they're they get busy, and I have to I have to wait patiently for when they when they get back from school or work or whatever. I can't always. I can't. I can't always, you know, I gotta learn to have patience, be a patient young Padawan and wait for, th wait for things to happen when they should. Be one with the force and learn patience. And patience isn't always a thing that you know everybody likes doing, but sometimes they gotta get used to it. Uh, things have been. January hasn't been. The best uh, month for me, quite frankly, been having to go on this new liquid diet lately, as to as to take being able to take care of myself in the way I eat, because I don't eat very well. I tend to eat a lot of uh, I don't I don't really eat the healthiest, and I really should. But and, you know, it's not my fault that God was the one who made food delicious. I can't help it. But I am trying to indeed take better care of myself. And I really hope that that it works out in the end, so Where you 
you guys came from. So yeah, so like once you walk into this hallway, stormtroopers just start spawning. At least they kind of just constantly started spawning in the previous game, but you know. Why does this just lead to a wall? Oh well. But yeah, once we set once we set up all these charges, uh, the generator will be destroyed. Man, that, that satellite dish looked small on their end. But anyway, that was pretty much all of Endor. The, the, uh, I kind of find it strange that um, Tatooine in this episode <coughs> had two levels, and then Endor had two levels, which is weird. And the next, and the next two levels we're, that we're going to be going to actually do relate with the Death Star, which is funny enough. So we get two locations, two locations in, like we get two locate, three locations with two levels each. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but with that being said, folks, that'll pretty much do it for today's episode. I'm going to head over to the shop the shop to see if I can... Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure Score 4 is now available, because last time I was able to buy it for for when I uh, previously recorded, recorded that level. <coughs> Wait. And Score 6 is there as well. Yeah, I can buy it. Score, uh, get it, um... My pause button wasn't working. Getting score four is gonna be so useful. Because now, now my, I'm at score eight, which means I can get studs like crazy. See, I just got 900... Hundred studs from that. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of studs from just the, from just score eight with this. So yeah, score four is definitely something you should you should buy buy when you have enough studs for it. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode. Next time on Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, we're gonna be heading into the next level. Where we take on the Dark Lord of the Sith himself. Okay. I thought it was gonna... Alright, whatever. In the, in the next episode, we're gonna be taking on the Big Bad Emperor himself. So, in, so until then. If you like what you saw here, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you would like to see next. If you want to stay up to date with what goes on the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and tap on the bell so you'll be able to be notified whenever I upload here on the channel. And make sure to subscribe over to my tutorial channel where I build Minecraft statues. I am currently working on the scissor location stat statues as of this video, and I promise they'll be they'll be out as soon as soon as I can. Once again, I want to apologize for the delay on delay on continuing this series as I really do want to finish it to get to the Skywalker saga. And I promise I will do that very soon. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!